What's up, Barnhill family? Welcome back to the channel. Yo, yo. So Nick, Rose Nama Yunus and Trevor Whitman, they put out a video her management team did. She's back in camp working some heavy body shots, preparing for a title fight. But the question is, who's she fighting? And there hasn't been an official announcement made yet. The thought is it's either going to be Carla Esparza, who's on a five-fight win streak and is the division's number three ranked contender, or it's going to be a rematch with Wei Li, who's the number one contender. However, Rose did knock her out in less than a minute last time they fought. Yeah, I'm, you know, when you look at the landscape of the division, it makes the most sense for Carla to get the next shot. Uh, and Dana White and really everybody else in the UFC kind of thought that it would be best if Wei Li waited a little while and maybe got one fight in between uh, title shots. But who really knows what's going to happen? Uh, I think Rose is obviously ready for whatever challenge comes her way. She uh, seems to be in a good place in her position uh, in her career and uh, in a position to defend titles against whoever she uh, they put her in the octagon with. So I think Carlos Sparks is the one that deserves the shot. It's a cool story to see a girl come from being like the first ever um, UFC uh, female champion all the way back after, you know, having some ups and downs in her careers to, to fighting for a title again against a girl that she actually was able to beat. So I'd like to see uh, Carla get the shot over Wei Li Zhang, but who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, Carla seems like the likely opponent, right? Because it was the inaugural women's straw weight championship the first time 115 pound ufc champion was ever crowned right carla esparza actually submitted rose nama Yunus, uh to win the ultimate fighter and the belt so there's some history there right. and really rose any way you slice it she's fighting somebody she's already fought before because if you look at the rankings uh as i said zhang wei li is number one is the number one contender yoani and jacek is the number two contender and carla is the number three contender Joanna's 0-2 against Rose, and she's 2-2 and in her last four. So she's likely not it. Uh, Wei Li, I really would like to see her get some more experience under her, get a little bit more training before she gets back in there with Rose. I was wrong in my prediction as far. I thought Wei Li had too much power and was too strong for Rose. And what ended up happening in that fight was Rose ended up being way too precise and too technically skilled for Wei Li. So I'm not sure she's had enough time to really close the gap there as far as skills are concerned. And Wei Li, on top of that, made a lot of excuses after the fight. Not that she was a sore loser or anything like that, but just in the sense that she said it was a hostile crowd, it was in the U.S., and the, uh, the referee wasn't favorable to her, and yada, yada, yada. So sometimes there's a bit of a healing process that happens when a fighter, who was the favorite coming in, loses the belt, and they kind of you know, go on a roller coaster of emotions and they need some time to reel it back in, get back to their training and start to develop the skills that they were lacking that caused them to lose the fight. So for that reason, and just for the history of the strawweight division, I think seven years after Carlos submitted Rose, you put them back in there together and let them have at it again. Uh, and it really just, uh, I think it would do the strawweights a lot of good. And I think Carla on a five fight win streak and coming off a knockout of the number four ranked fighter in the division certainly deserves this uh, title shot. Yeah, and the story behind Carla getting the rematch would have to be, you know, has Rose uh, covered the gap that was between them in their first fight all those years ago, which I would agree, I would believe is yes. She's probably the best female fighter at 115 that the world's ever seen right now. And Carla Esparza is obviously still making a lot of improvements in her career, but I think Rose is just kind of operating on a different frequency and she's using her athleticism and her, her um, mental, uh, her fight IQ at, at a really high level. So I think that, you know, maybe she did surpass Carla and Carla's now trying to close that gap a little bit because she's seen just how good some of the girls at the top are. But what you don't want to see is, you know, Rose Nama Yunus take out Joanna two times in a row. And that kind of leaves Joanna in no man's land as long as Rose has the belt. Uh, and then we saw the same sort of thing happening with uh, uh, Wei Li Zhang. You don't want to see Wei Li, you know, put herself in no man's land because she can't get a win over the person with the belt. And then her and Joanna are just kind of floating around uh, the top of the division, unable to beat the champ, but also unable uh, uh nobody else is able to beat them so 
I think it's best to let some some new faces come back in and you know have the revolving door kind of roll around a bit to hopefully to one of their uh, advantages, they can jump in there and fight Carla Esparza if she's able to get a win over Rose, or you know, enter somebody else into the to the top of the uh, of the title fight contention. And I I, I don't know. I, I just feel like maybe it's the best the best move for Joanna and Wei Li would be to wait and let Carla get this shot. I think Rose is likely going to win that one in, in, in great fashion, but. Uh, it it can't hurt it can't hurt for them to uh, for them to wait. Yeah, I don't think so, and I think it's a really good matchup too because Rose is shown to be the best fighter we've ever seen at straw weight. I don't think there's really much doubt about that at this point. Um, she's the best female 115 fighter of all time, in yeah. my opinion. Uh, but if she has struggled in the past, it's been against stronger grapplers, and she mm-hmm. was submitted by Esparza in the first installment. Now that was seven years ago. Rose was literally a child at that time. I don't know her exact age to give to you right at this moment, but she was very young, early twenties at the, at the oldest when she fought Carla Esparza the first time seven years ago. So she's closed the gap tremendously. Her jujitsu has come on uh, quite a bit since then, but we did see Jessica Andrade kind of manhandle her and wrestle her down and ultimately get a weird finish from that throw on the that, that Rose landed on her head. Uh, and Carla Esparza kind of fights with that same tenacity, that same pressure, wrestling, uh, beat you down, advance position, and ultimately get the submission, which is what she did the first time she fought Rose. So I'm very intrigued. I think Rose is night and day different. I don't think not only has she closed the gap in skill, I think she's exceeded it. And I think there's nobody that you could put across her at 150 from her at 115 where she would be the underdog. I think she's going to be the favorite in all of those fights and rightfully so. I truthfully think the only person you could put in front of Rose right now that would, she would be the underdog would be uh, Valentina Shevchenko if she were to move up to 125. But at 115, Rose is the top dog and she's going to be the favorite no matter who they put in front of her. And listen, Trevor Whitman is just churning out champions right now. And Kamara Usman is reinventing himself and looking better every time he goes out there. We're all excited to see what Justin Gaethje does when he comes back. And Rose Nami Yunus, I think, is right in step with that. She's getting better every single time. And I think this next fight, we're going to see the best Rose yet, which could be very scary. Yeah. Uh, Rose, when she's in a good headspace and she's operating on on a high frequency, is definitely one of the best females we've ever seen in the sport. So I can't wait to see what she does next. I'm definitely leaning towards Carla Esparza getting the next shot, uh, but whoever they give her, it's probably going to be a fun fight, probably going to be a, a main or co-main on a pay-per-view, and it uh, should be a lot of fun for us fans to, to enjoy. I think so. I can't wait to break it down. I'm hoping they make the announcement soon. Me too. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the content, a like, comment, and subscribe is always much appreciated. And if you listen to audio podcasts, we're there as well, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you name it. Check out the Barnhill Brothers and leave us a review if you could. Until the next time, guys, have a wonderful day. Peace.